Hey, hey, fresh. It's the 3rd of September, 2019. And, uh, as usual, I have like a hundred things. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really, you guys, it's, it's getting to a point where it's like, really? I mean, no one can keep up with this stuff. All these various things going on. Uh, very strange, very interesting, very disastrous, very suspicious. All of these things all rolled in one, right? But, my, my view is, is always keep your eye on Israel. If there's something going on that points me in that direction, that's where I'm going. And this Iranian oil tanker, which is just, the whole story of this thing is bizarre, which is par for the course for everything these days. It's intentionally made to be chaotic, so you just give up. It's like, how can I follow any of this stuff? That's why you need the spirit of the living God, because even though we can't follow it all, I sure can't. I don't, I don't understand exactly what all this means, other than we're being shown the spiritual warfare manifesting all around us with these synagogue of Satan demon Nephilim bringing in their new world order. We see that plain as day, but all the details? Forget about it. No one can know all the details, you know? That would mean you'd have too much power, and I don't care how much you love God, you don't want that much power. It's too tempting. Look what happened to Solomon. Look what's happening to all these leaders and billionaires like Trump. They're giving in to the world. They just have. Okay, let's just face facts, right? And I've seen all this crazy stuff going on. And, you know, I try to, to just give you the, the examples of how the spiritual war manifests in our natural world. And it, and it reveals itself through the Holy Spirit in a myriad of ways. Albeit we see through that glass darkly, we still see it. You know what I mean? And for me, it's largely through numbers and a variation of things. Everybody's got their own gifts and their own, you know, works cut out for them. You know what I mean? And this is mine. And yesterday, I still haven't found anybody that I know of that heard this uh, emergency alert on the radio. I was in New Hampshire it's on an FM radio station, albeit it's a small station, Christian station, but it broadcast at 1101, and it named off the entire eastern seaboard, every state it named. I was just driving along going, man, I wish I had the wherewithal to record this right now. But anyway, I thought that was weird, and we got Dorian, and it wasn't to do with Dorian because they didn't mention a weather alert or anything of that nature. I wish I could remember it, but I really can't. I just know it was unlike any other one I've ever heard, all right? And Dorian, to me, is becoming more of a distraction day by day because of where we have to be looking. We have to be looking at Israel. The United States is being set up for the fall. Israel is using the United States to be their muscle, to get Iran, so on and so forth, and... The United States is going to suffer the fall for it. It's just going to happen. The United States is so many ways. Mystery Babylon. You could just do an entire series just on that alone. Okay, so I'm just telling you. This all points to Israel. All right. And Iran is top, front, and center right now. And Dorian just happens to spell out all these words. I just started seeing him like, ordain? Really? Trump believes he is ordained. He's been convinced of that by this synagogue of Satan. You know, they, they're they all of that Antichrist spirit because they live in the flesh. All these pastors and rabbis and everything that have access to him, they've convinced him that he's anointed and he is ordained to get rid of the evil Iran, to do Iran, if you will. That's their desire of the United States, you know, and him being at Camp David, oddly enough, you know, that basically equates to being at NORAD in its own right. It does. You know what I mean? And you can pull NORAD out of Dorian as well. The ones who weren't capable of taking down a couple of airplanes over the course of a couple of hours at 9-11, but I digress, all right? So this Iranian tanker, it's been pursued across the entirety of the Mediterranean. This is what they tell us. And now they've turned off their transponder. 
in the United States is starting to get concerned and you have guests on Fox News, former Navy SEALs and what have you telling us that this cannot be stood for. This is a slap in the face. Iran cannot be allowed to sell this oil because they use the money for terrorism. And that's exactly what Israel wants the United States to do is go after them in order to enforce their uh, sanctions on them and allow them to bring in more apparatus into the region where everybody's just waiting to go at a big old war. I mean, that's what we're going to see at some point in time. It is coming. And our, our financial markets today, the last time I checked over there, we're not looking too well either. I guess you could say that's not horrible, but it sure isn't good. But that's what I feel about this Iranian tanker. And I began to get a lot of gematria connected to this thing that just point to this spiritual war, the Antichrist spirit, lightning from heaven, the whole thing. And judgment, ultimately, is what it all points to. But I just can't go over this stuff right now, you guys. You know, it's just the way it is. But I did want to touch on this boat fire that happened in California that ironically it's trump decided to tweet about yesterday very strange you know he tweets out about it like right as it's happening 4 48 in the morning he tweets out about this boat fire going on which you gotta admit is absolutely off the charts man the stuff the the things that connect to this they they say to me that this is no doubt a satanic sacrificial ritual no question in my mind about it. The conception, I mean, seriously, a 23 meter long boat, the act of conceiving, conception, the state of being conceived. They have conceived and are about to birth their new world order. And these rituals just bring it closer, faster. Sperm meets egg in order for conception. And it brings us right back to the 23, 23, the 46, the 69. This is all spiritual and natural coming together. 23, spiritually, set apart, born again. The 46, the flesh that remains, are in the world. You see what I'm saying? And as soon as you give yourself over and take that mark of the beast, your 46 becomes a 69. The chains of everlasting darkness. The DNA chain. That's why they want your DNA so bad. Conception. Uh, unbelievable. And it was fire, of course. Water. I didn't put the water part in here. That's important, too, for the birth. Like the Bennu we saw in the ocean up by uh, San Francisco. The phoenix, essentially, is what it can represent. And it's on the 2nd of September, 9-2. Perfect 9-11. Just their signature. This is how they do it right next to Santa Cruz Island, which has to mean Holy Cross, right? At 3.30 in the morning, mocking Jesus on the cross, doing their ha-ha in-your-face rituals in a 23-meter long boat with a 46-person capacity. Think about it. 46 humans are allowed on this 23-meter long boat. The sperm eats an egg in order for conception unbelievable you guys and this boat that picked up the survivors was called the grape escape remember the grapes of wrath that's crazy god's wrath that's what they they want to escape they're gonna think they think they're escaping judgment and they're just doing everything in vain and taking as many souls with them as they can if you're still in sin not washed in the blood of christ you aren't allowed in the father's house so Get to knowing him if you don't already, okay? And watch and pray always that you're accounted worthy to escape huh, the grapes of wrath. So I just wanted to share this stuff with you guys a lot more, like I said, how this all points to this Antichrist manifestation in the world, in the natural world, and how you need Christ to be saved out of it, to escape it. Call on him. Trust in him. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish.
Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 